we are back out on one of my favorite cold water lakes this is top secret lake s otherwise known as south holston we're gonna be chasing some smallies today hopefully we catch two or three we're gonna be doing a lot of filming today too so i don't know how much fishing we're gonna to get to do and we're gonna add a goodie to the boat at about noon a gentleman's supposed to be meeting me here to uh toss another little safety feature on the new trailer all right let's get on the water and we'll talk about conditions of the day all right guys so conditions of the day uh it's gonna be a bluebird sky i mean i'm back in the back of a creek right now and i mean i have to be seeing at least six foot down <clears throat> it's a little cold this morning got down to about 32 31 degree supposed to warm up to like 75 so you know dress in layers got some shorts on under here hope we get to break those out as the day goes on especially with this bluebird sky guys i just don't know what it's going to be on this lake haven't been on it in a long time seen a couple of guys dropping you know throwing that Demiki rig i'm going to kind of cover water i'm going to look for some top water today and just uh <clears throat> you know i'm just going to go play around water temps I, if i haven't already said it 60 degree first thing this morning on the water let's go see what we can get into That's a halfway decent one. There we go, fish number Udo. All right, good little keeper, he's skinny. Come off that tree, real skinny though. But a good little keeper on the old jerkum bait off a tree. And of course we slide right in that tree, so. <clears throat> Tell you what I'll probably do. I'll probably just pick that crankbait up. It's a little more natural. I did, but uh oh, is that a, it? Was that top water over there? You know, we are fishing a smallmouth predominant lake. And there we go. Gangbusters out here, that's for sure.
Looky, looky. The Rico. I don't think it's a huge one. It ain't a bad one, though. Look at that clear water, boys and girls. I'm still getting that. Watch that. How clear that water is. Come on. Come on, you got a face full. Give it up. Nope, now. Come on. Come on. There we go. He hit that front hook, which tells you, you know he wanted it. All right, boys and girls. You can tell he's been eating. Keep surfacing right there. We got some over here. See, that's the thing, guys. Even in open water, You've, you've got, if you pay attention when you're out here and you're patient, you'll, you'll really know that for whatever reason, and that's the creek channel right there, but they're, they're pushing them up and for whatever reason, just over and over and over. Look there, they're chasing. Just over and over and over, they'll be right there. Same, same two spots. But this is a game of patience. Game of patience. It's probably 10 to 12, maybe 15 foot of visibility right down here. Super slick, bluebird high sun. The smaller fish are, are the ones that are coming up to hit this right now, okay? But the bigger fish are underneath chasing. So what I'm doing is I'm coming in, staying off my big motor, staying off my trolling motor, and just firing that hydro wave up and giving it a few minutes. I know there's shad in here and I'm just gonna wait and watch. The bass aren't necessarily busting, but I can target the shad, and you can kind of tell when those shad are in a hurried, frenzy, kind of spreading out, that bass are coming up into that ball. You can throw over there at them, tweak this little Rico a couple of times. You know, most of the time in clear water, I, I like that, uh, I think it's called the hammer shad, it's a translucent, but the problem is I need them to be able to see a target. So this bone color, I think, is a little better in the situation that I'm in today because these fish are coming up into those shad, maybe not even busting. So literally, this is the size. I'll give you a perspective. That is about one, probably two inches. That's why the Damiki rig works so good. And probably that popper, that's probably why it works so good. Now there are bigger ones, but this for sure is the size that they are feeding on. All right guys, listen, I am in South Carolina right now at my buddy Joey's house. This is his stash back here. Look at those sweet, trophies i tell you the man is a stick by the way to sum up the day on good old soho i know that the fish were chasing shad i seen the bigger dots when i graphed over them but my 360 wasn't working uh wasn't getting power i've got the gen one i'm hoping to upgrade next year uh hopefully going to upgrade a lot of my graphs next year but so 
basically what I decided to do is the smaller fish generally will be busted on top. And every once in a while, especially early in the mornings, those bigger fish will. And if you noticed, that's when we caught those bigger bass was in the morning. You know, when you're out there just having fun, a lot of times, you know, you can go out there and, you know, I was kind of searching some new areas. Like I know two or three creeks on that lake that I could have went to caught literally probably 30, 40, just, you know, 12 to 13 inch smallmouth on top water. But I figured I'd check out a few new creeks and a few areas where I knew there was shad and see if I could get them going. And, you know, the big thing is the hydrowave really does play a big part in fall fishing. You know, if some of you guys seen the hydrowave video that I've done, you know, I've always said it's about 50-50. It gets the shad going. And when they're keying on the shad, that'll get the bass going. So a lot of times I'd pull into an area, I'd fire that hydrowave up. And if the bass started busting, I'd start to catch them. But if they didn't, we wouldn't. And it's... You know, just that sort of day, man, when you're fishing for fun, what's funner than top water? Nothing. All right. As always, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, I about forgot. Questions and comments in the comment section below. You got any questions about what we were doing? I hope you guys dug this video. I was trying to show you kind of the progression of baits that I went through before I got on that little pattern. You know, hopefully learn something. If you got any questions about it, you know, I love to talk fishing with you. And again, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, ring that bell so you get the notifications when the videos come out. And you guys rock. <laughs>